the other day I had a friend ask me, why are you so into the, the sugary fruit lifestyle, man? Why, why are you uh, high carb, high fruit? Why do you like so much sugar in your diet? And, um, well, there's a lot of stuff. <clears throat> there's a lot of reasons why I eat a lot of fruit. Fruit, um, you know, prevents a lot of diseases and it just has it. Fruits and vegetables are powerful, powerful disease fighting tools. They just, they have all these chemicals and just properties that we don't even understand that are just like, wow, you know, these fruits fucking, they've cured people's cancer, like fruits and vegetables, cured people's cancer, they've, uh, you know, prevented countless cases of cancer and uh, other diseases like diabetes and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to get into why fruit doesn't cause diabetes, but just, um, you know, if you're in... If you're afraid of diabetes, do some research and find out what it actually is. It's fat. Too much fat causes diabetes. And you look at all the fruit eaters, they, we do not have too much fat. Now, me, I like, yeah, I eat lots of fruit, but I eat some cooked food too. This, uh, I'm, you know, you can see I'm like pretty slim. I'm like not like super lean or anything, but this is me like no exercise, eating like just a normal high carb diet like not perfect by any stretch and, and no fucking training no holding back on the food I mean I eat until I am done every single time until I'm done I don't ever 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 sit there and be like okay no I had enough like I, I I make sure I've had enough I always err on the side of extra I never err on the side of too little ever I don't do the 80% full thing. I eat till I am fucking stuffed every single meal, all day, every day. I walk around with a full belly. Uh, like I'll wake up really slim. So, so that's one of the reasons uh, I get to eat as much as I want and just feel fucking good. But uh, yeah, so prevents all these diseases, makes you feel good, but really, I can't explain to you why I eat so much fruit. You, the only way you're gonna understand why is if you do it yourself. You gotta do it yourself to understand why I do this. And uh, you'll you'll get hooked on it too, I'm sure you will. It's just such an amazing feeling being so clean. Uh, right down to like a cellular level when you just clean, like having like multiple large, fluffy bowel movements every day. Uh, you know, like, crap once a day is not good, man. Uh, not for me, anyway. Like, I eat too much food to just take, like, one little stinky shit a day. I, my, my shits, like, rarely stink. And, um, you know, I, I'm not always, like, perfectly on track with everything, obviously. But my shits rarely stink. And uh, they just come out, boom, boom, like a few times a day. Like at least three times a day when I'm feeling good. And uh, you, you get that going and you keep it going over time and it just turns into this high. Like it's like a strong cup of coffee, like a really strong cup of coffee. You're just like, ah, uh, like you just want to, you feel so light and clean. And like your, your stomach's empty, your guts are empty for the most part. But... Your, your cells have ample glycogen stores. That's the sugar, the carbohydrate in your muscles. And that's the fuel that your body runs on is glucose. You know, it's the glycogen stores in your muscles. So it's just awesome to be clean and nourished. It is an amazing feeling. And not only that, but fruit has, you know, it, it's got like vitamin, it, best source of any vitamins is in fruit fucking look up any vitamin it's all it's all fruit except b12 which is uh made by bacteria so um if you're if you're gonna go vegan fucking eat your flax seeds every day i think that's a good tip like uh plenty of people go without it but i uh from what i've seen like if you eat flax seeds like a tablespoon of flax seeds every day um you'll have better health uh long term like long 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 term and also take a B12 supplement. You gotta take B12 if you're a vegan. 
Um, you, you should get your B12 checked even if you're not a vegan. Um, it, it's important to have if, uh, ample B12 stores or you will die. And it won't be fun. Um, but other than that, you got nothing to worry about. Um, if you got a good digestive system, fucking live on rice and beans. You know, uh, that stuff's chock full of minerals. And just, uh, you know, get your broccoli and your your, uh, your favorite greens in every day. But the fruit, that's that's really the key. Like, I don't, I don't even do all these things every single day. The only thing that I, I absolutely require to function is fruit. I, I can live on sweet potatoes if I find the soft varieties of sweet potatoes. I can do that and not have fruit. But I gotta have my sweets, man. I just can't live without that refreshing sweetness. Like, people, like, put all this negative stigma on fucking sugar. It's just ridiculous. Like, who doesn't feel refreshed after drinking, like, a nice, you know, glass of uh, sweet lemonade? Or, so, like, all the, all the savory things, those are the things that are not cleansing. Those are the things that are not refreshing. The sugary foods, the naturally sweet foods, the foods, the foods out of the ground, I'm talking. One ingredient, you pick it off a tree, you pull it out of the ground. That's what a food is. A food is not something that we put on a plate and create. A food is not a healthy burrito, although that's a nice meal. It's, the foods inside are the wheat, you know, the, the tomato, the, the bean. Uh, yeah, anyway, just to clarify, um, the best foods are the ones that taste good naturally, and those are the sweet ones. Sweet foods for the win. You're not going to find anything that tastes better than a fruit. If you don't like sweets, you probably have metabolic issues and you should see a doctor. It's uh, natural to enjoy sweet foods. If you don't like the taste of sugar on your tongue, there's probably something seriously wrong with you. But that stuff, yeah, it's just, it's cleansing. The stuff that comes out of the ground and naturally tastes good happens to be sweet and high in sugar and it's just, that's the refreshing stuff that's just gonna make you feel like you're just under a waterfall in Hawaii, you know? And just like, that's the most beautiful version of yourself is the you that is fueled by sweet fruit and, um, yeah, just all this bullshit, man. <laughs> so much bullshit out there about just like unfounded stuff about how, uh, oh yeah, you know, fruit only gives you energy for like a short time. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I, I'm about to have like a thousand, fifteen hundred calories a day to raid. Just dates soaked overnight, blended with a bunch of water. Uh, it, you know, high speed blender super sweet and delicious and just hydrating and nourishing cleansing it's got all these minerals it's got like so much potassium for your muscles and uh, potassium I guess helps you flush out sodium so it can help you get slimmer too if salt makes you fat salt makes you fat for sure I might do a video how I can gain like 15 pounds in a, in a couple days just from eating salt um, although I'd rather not do that, but yeah, like, uh, I'm going to have this thousand fucking calorie smoothie and it's going to tie me over for like several hours. Um, I, I just don't get the, the short energy return. You get a certain amount of calories and that's going to fuel you for a certain amount of time. It doesn't make a difference. Like you get your glycogen up and you, you run it down and your glycogen, you hold like 2,000 calories of glycogen or something, like the average male adult. Uh, so you replenish your glycogen until it's full and then you run it, uh, 2,000, you think 2,000 calories are gonna move out of you faster in fruit than with um, a starchy, uh, you know, healthy food? I just don't understand it. Maybe because you got more energy when you're on fruit because you're cleaner and you, you do more. 
when you're eating lots of fruit, you just feel better and you got inertia. Um, you got just the urge to move. It's like this high, you know? And, well, you probably don't. If, you're, if, you, if you haven't experienced this, you have to. You've got to experience it. Get a box of bananas and let them ripen until they're all covered in brown spots. Put them in a blender with a bunch of dates. That is like, oh, raw food calorie hit. And it's just nutrient dense, like cancer preventing, fucking heart disease curing, diabetes destroying mixture. And it's just, oh man, tastes so good. It's like eating cake batter, except it's like a refresh. You feel good afterwards. It's not like 50% of calories from fat. It's more like seven or eight percent calories from fat, something like that which is good and healthy. Those are essential fatty acids, omega-3s. You can get all your omega-3s you need from just eating bananas all day. You can eat nothing but bananas and you get 100% of your daily value of alpha linoleic acid, the omega-3 fatty acid that your body needs. Um, which is only like a gram and a half or something like that anyway. So it's pretty crazy, just fruit. You can live on fruit, and people do, and they're just, oh man, check out Fruit Living on YouTube. The dude is fit as fuck, and he's just living his dream life. And he doesn't even eat vegetables, he just eats fruit, and he's like winning triathlons, and just winning at life. And he's not the only one out there that does this, dude. The fittest people in the world are high carb, all of them. All, every single one of those real athletes, I'm not talking football players, I mean football players are fit too and they eat tons of carbs, but some of those guys just smash the shit out of each other. It's more about being large. The high carbers, the ones that are really high carb are like the cardio people, okay? Like, um, it just, the low protein, the low fat, the high carb, it makes you move more so you, you end up like smaller in general. And uh, you don't believe me, just try it for yourself. Stop. Uh, it's high carb foods just make your body index, body mass index lower generally. I, I suppose you could sit on the couch and just smash it in like constantly and you could become a large person, but it's really hard on high carb foods. I mean, I even eat like lots of refined sugar and stuff. Um, and I just eat and eat and eat. I am a binge eater, 100%. And I'm just not that big. It's crazy. Um, yeah, why am I into fruit? I'm, I'm trying to keep this like a quick video. But there's just so many things. You just got to try it for yourself or you won't understand what it feels like. It's just a high. It's a natural high. You got to experience it. It is totally awesome. Um, and it's better for the planet and the, and the environment and for the future. Like trees build topsoil. There's only one kind of plant that will save the world and those are trees. We need to plant trees. We need to feed the people of the world. To restore regular weather patterns and consistent rainfall and stuff like that. We need trees to, to keep the soil moist to keep the water cycle uh, in its natural uh, state. And we have the power to just change the way things are and to get things the way we want them. Assuming we're all on the same page, I'm not talking to the people who want the apocalypse. Uh, I'm talking to the people who want a better world, you know, for, for humans and animals. Trees are what we need. We need trees. We need fruit coming off of them. A mango tree yields like hundreds of mangoes on a single tree. Hundreds of mangoes. And, and a good mango can be like 200 calories, even like 300 calories if it's a really big one. And if you, you know, oh man, most of us, I, I myself included, although I've had a couple mangoes that blew my mind. Mo 
most of us have not had a mango that has grown properly and waited till it's ready to fall off the tree. It's the most delicious food. All fruits are. And there's just, there's more varieties of edible fruits out there than there will be days in your life. So like, you think my diet's restrictive? You got no idea, man. My diet is like far from it. I have the least restrictive diet of anybody I know. I, I enjoy way, I try way more new things than anybody I know all the time. Um, I eat a lot more than anybody I know, especially people my size. I eat like a, a morbidly obese person in terms of like volume. Um, the, the, the diet, high carb veganism. You can eat anything under the fucking sun. There's not a, like, okay, maybe you can go too crazy on the nuts and avocados, but all the foods out there, the real things that you eat every day are fucking high carb, man. Just get rid of the meat. Go vegan. Come on. Like, the meat's not good for you. Animal products have no place in the diet. They just add, like, extra fat, and they, they clog your arteries, and they, uh, they're not good, like, in so many ways. They're, um, and, but really, the, the main thing is the fact that you don't need them. That should be, like, liberating to know. That you don't need them and life will be better without them. It will be better without them and you don't need to replace them. You don't need to do... Get rid of them. Get them out of your life. Your life will be better automatically, right away. Eat more carbs. Oh, man, I'm so excited. I got rice and beans at home waiting for me for dinner. And uh, broccoli. It's all cooked up and ready. Ready to eat. And today I'm just drinking my Daterade and I got a little bit of prunes for later just to snack on. Prunes are actually really tasty. Um, yeah, that's all I'm eating today. Dates, prunes, and then rice and beans. Uh, yeah, so <coughs> I'm all stoked. I'm pumped up. Just about to get to work. I'm probably a little late. Um, try the fruit lifestyle. Uh, this video wasn't supposed to be trying to convince you, but I'm trying to explain it to you, and I can't explain it to you why I do this. It's just good. You gotta, you gotta try it for yourself. So I've, I've gone way too long. Just fucking do it.